What is going on guys, Justin Noda here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak your iDevice. It's really quick and simple, and all you just have to make sure is that you're running 6.1.3. You can check that within the settings, just press general and press about, and then you'll be able to see the current firmware that you're on. So once that's checked out, then we can begin. If you check in the description below, I'll have links to the things that you need to download in order for this whole thing to happen. So once you have everything downloaded, then we can start. First, you're going to want to open Red Snow. I pinned it to my toolbar because, trust me, I've been doing this a lot. <laughs> Just thought I should share with you guys. Alright. What we're going to do here is press Extras. Select IPSW. And look for the 6.0. IPSW. That's the thing that you should download. Why? Because we want to trick Red Snow to thinking that we're running the 6.0 firmware. So once you have it for your selected device, just press open. And that is what we're going to be using for the rest of the video. Just click OK. So now what you're going to want to do is press back. And then you're going to want to press jailbreak. And now it is preparing the jailbreaking data. And now it is patching the kernel. So make sure that these two are clicked over here and click next. So here's what we're going to do. Make sure that your device is on and then you're going to press, you're going to want to press the on button and the home screen button for 10 seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After that, quickly, just leave your finger on the home screen button. And now it's processing. Also keep in mind that this is the tether jailbreak. Meaning that whenever you have to reboot your device as in turning it off and turning it back on, Cydia will not be able to work. So as you can see, it is installing the jailbreak data. and it's uploading the kernel. It says done, but whatever you do, do not touch your iPod Touch. Please leave it alone until it is done. This process can take up to about 20 minutes. So let's just leave it on. No, I do not want to change my color scheme performance. Sheesh. Another thing that you have to know is that Cydia is going to be very successful on iOS 7. The reason why I say that is because, you know, with the New iOS 7 features is going to be on. Cydia is going to have like way more things. Newer tweaks, newer themes, newer everything. Can't wait for it. What I'm scared about is that, you know, if iOS 7 is really too good, 
Is there a reason for Sid here? <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course there is. Of course there would be a reason for Sid here. So it says moving applications. You'll see a little pineapple on your screen. This can take about 10 minutes or so. No, I do not want to change my color screen performance. slap my computer silly. Change the color scheme to iOS space. Sheesh. I'm pretty sure you guys are starting to get annoyed by that too, but hopefully that will be the last alert that we will be receiving. Okay, shows has installing bundles and it says done. So once that's done you will see an Apple logo. And then you'll come up to your screen. So what you're gonna want to do here is exit out of Red Snow and go back in. Press Run. And now what you're gonna want to do. Just press extras, select IPSW 6.0, and press just boot. And now we're going to have to do DFU mode all over again. So, here's how we do it. We press the, home, the on button and the home screen button at the same time for 10 seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then hold the home screen button for ten seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it's going to say patching files, exploiting. Please do not disconnect until it says done. It's going to upload two stages, reboot, make sure that the logo is up and everything. And then all you will see is a little pineapple, which means that everything is okay. And then your computer screen is going to say done. So guys, that's basically it. That is how you jailbreak your device.
Let's just wait until it goes to the home screen. And that's it guys. I have to sign in because in my previous video I created how to unjailbreak your device and now I have to make an account. So let me just skip to the next part. Alright, once you're on the home screen, all you just have to do is just click the new icon that's in your home screen and select user. I use developer because there are more tweaks that show. And that's basically it. Also keep in mind that every time you turn off your device you have to go all the way back to Red Snow on your computer. Select PSW and then press just boot. And remember that trick I showed you to get into DFU mode which is to hold the home screen button and the on button at the same time for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, let go and hold the home screen button. So guys, I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, please PM me in my YouTube inbox. Or just leave comments in the comment section below. Thanks.